All right, so a little update on on the wiring job. Um, I still got a wire in this sensor, but uh, the injectors all have their own thing going on here. Um, probably could have paired up the banks, but I got them all on separate conductors uh, just for it's going to be a little bit easier to identify. Uh, TPS sensor, um, we got the knock sensor right here. Still got to get a pigtail for this. Might just cut this off and uh, and well, that's a little short, but maybe I'll just get another pigtail for this or something. I don't know. Uh, so got got those all wired in. I got to get this done. Um, I think one's a ground, one's uh, plus five volts, and then the other one's like. I don't know, something else. Whatever, we'll figure it out as we go. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it on sensors. Uh, I'm gonna swap this out. This is for an autometer um, uh, oil pressure gauge. I'm actually gonna put a, um, a transducer here. I think that's what it's called uh, for pressure. That's gonna, I'll be able to have it read up on a digital dash that I'm gonna put together for the mega squirt. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of the analog gauges uh, let's see what else we got going on here. So this little wiring pigtail that I got going on here, uh, I got to braid it because everyone knows that's good for another 10 horsepower. Um, it helps the electrons flow through uh, through the wires. Yep. Here's where I have the mega squirt mounted. It's going to be under the the rear seat on the driver's side. Um, it's a good location for wiring as there's a nice little port right here that goes up through and then cuts back to the firewall in the back of the car. All right, so I picked up a bunch of this braided split loom stuff for protecting wires. Um, I got a couple different sizes. This stuff's for like the large bundle uh, and a little smaller for the smaller bundle. And then uh, this is for an even smaller bundle of wire. And then, I don't know, maybe that's good for like two conductors at a time. I said conductors because I am an electrician. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I was kind of thinking, you know, if we take, if we take maybe a little chunk of this, maybe run it up on this piece, I don't know if you can even see that, and then kind of like start to build them together to where when it comes together, it's all one big bundle of goodness. And uh, we'll see how it looks. Looks like crap. I'll just redo it and uh, spend more money to redo it again. Well, I guess uh, I probably should cut this end off. I don't even have scissors here. What? Whoa. WTF. <sighs> All right. You know, this is really weird because uh, there's no one in here. It's just me. And I feel like I'm talking to myself. Well, you all get to listen to me talk to myself. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll cut this section somewhere, I don't know, just past where it might come together. And then we'll, we'll put it into the braid and continue it on. So I'm going to cut it right here and let's, uh, let's see what happens. So grab this section. You know what, it'd probably help out if I put a little tape on here. That way I can feed it through and it doesn't catch all the way down. I'm gonna go get some tape. <laughs> Boom, tape. Oh, I'm doing a really crappy job. Whatever. Don't judge me. All right, so this stuff's kind of like a Chinese finger trap. So you grab it, grab a little bit, oh, well. You gotta pull, oh, what the hell is going on here? All right, can you grab, the only thing that I don't like, I don't know, maybe someone's messed around with this stuff in the past, but when you start dealing with it, it kind of frays up a little bit. Um, that's one thing that I don't like. I mean, I can cut it off after I'm done messing around with it, but it's just kind of funky, you know. I wonder if there's a way to uh, to kind of like maybe make it, I mean, I, I could wrap, do a wrap of tape on it, I guess. I don't know. 
Now, this is how I've always done it. Maybe maybe someone give me a suggestion on on how to uh, make this different and work better. All right, boom. Okay, so we're all the way up to there. All right, so let's do this. Let's put a wrap of tape right here on this end. And uh, Oop. come on. All right. So what I'm thinking uh, is. So this right here is the knock sensor. I think if I measure out a chunk right here, we should be good to go. I'm not sure if I should use that same size braid though. I've got some bigger stuff. Let's, let's see if that fits. All right, this is a larger braid. Man, I, th I think this is gonna be good for four, four wires. I like that. I think that's cool. Measure it out, huh? Jeez. So that connect actually goes a little farther. Uh, than what I was saying and we'll probably want the connector out so I'm gonna end up having to go a little longer on that cut all right so I got the the end of the two pairs uh, taped up I also identified each pair this red wire doesn't tell me what it is on each end uh, so that's one thing that's gonna happen on all four injectors um, but these are identified by the different color and they also state what it is on the wire, um, which is pretty cool. But I'd like to know which pair it is just in case for diagnostic purposes uh, on either end. I'll be able to figure out, you know, what's going on because these will be paired up, right? So that'll be easy to find on this end per se. And then same thing on, the, on, on this side, I'll be able to find it. And if I have an, you know, issue with power running through it or or whatever you know I can ring it out and and, and see if I'm having a problem but you know, identification is very important for wiring it makes it easier to diagnose any issues that might show up let's feed it through you know I know a lot of this stuff's pretty boring uh, to some people but it's kind of crazy you know you find yourself on YouTube watching stuff that you're interested in and you're like man I love doing that stuff it's an addiction I love working on things I can't help it it's me I like fixing stuff maybe one day I'll own a shop or something you know what I just messed up because I didn't put the small braid on first so we need to pull this all the way off all right so let's uh Cut a little chunk here and continue on with this little masterpiece, huh? All right, we don't need a whole lot. Oh, that's funny. All right. Feed it. Oh, come on. Mm-hmm. Finger trap it. Cool, I dig that. Let's put some tape on it, make it look even better. I think heat shrink would be pretty cool on this, but you know what? I don't really care. Gee, that's just a crappy paint tape job, isn't it? I said paint. <laughs> Let's, uh, all right, I think that's something doable. And then, then the other sheath will come up over the section and, and then we'll be able to tape this piece. All right. Feed that in. Feed it. All right. Okay, so I need to, I think that's gonna be enough.
Hello? So if you think about it... Hey, hold on, hold on, stop for a second. I just want to let you know I'm making a YouTube video, and uh, this is going to be on the video. So what happened? <laughs> Okay. I'll run the fuck out of it until the warranty's up and then see if I can fuck blow the business up. And then it's like brand new vehicle after the warranty. Oh, yeah, hey, you know what? No worries, because uh, I got you. You know, if you want to do a build on that thing, I know what to do. Yeah, see, there you go. <laughs> this is a test for all your viewers. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're <laughs> and then worth getting a boy boy WRS. Hold on, let's ask them. Uh, do you think it's worth it if my buddy goes out and buys a 2020 WRX. Well, they're not telling me what they want because the video's not uploaded yet. <laughs> yeah, the ones that's uploaded, they'll probably be like, here's the money. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. He said, yeah, I can't even remember. Yep. <laughs> well, cool. You're doing some more work right now, that's cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm finishing up, so, well, it's not finishing, but uh, I'm working on it. Hopefully one day it'll be finishing. Uh, this wiring, yeah, it'll happen. Just gotta take time. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Well, right on, man. I'll let you finish and build that, uh, uh, do your video, and I'll swing by and, uh, we'll take a look at the big old price tag that I bought. Oh, cool. Yeah, we'll look at the big old price tag you bought. <laughs> That's funny. Man, those cars are so fun. Dude, I, like, when I drove it around I was, uh, down here in Auburn, like, the whole time I was driving, I was like, man, I don't want my car payment. And then, then I found this one going on, and you hear the little, hearing the little turbo boost. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, that's how it is, man. They get you. Well, cool. Yep, that's how it works. <laughs> cool, yeah, I'd like to take a little ride in that thing. It'd be cool. Dun, dun, dun. 40 miles. Yep. <laughs> Right. <laughs> That's funny. Well, cool deal, man. Okay, goodbye. He bought a car. Ah. And I accidentally pulled this off while I was talking to him. Yeah, <laughs> pulled it off. All right. Where were we? Oh, yeah, we we're taping up this bleep. Gosh. That looks like poop, doesn't it? What do we do here? So that looks like about how much we need. Boom. Oops, I dropped it. Don't drop the soap. I still haven't even bolted down the fuel rails quite yet. It's just kind of on there all loosey-goosey. A little bit of a little bit of 33 tape. Oh, you know what? This thing's paid stupid. Um tape kind of rolled over and that's irritating. Boom. There we go. You know when I was talking about split loom? And it just dawned on me what I was talking about. Well, this isn't, this stuff's not split loom. The larger stuff is where you can, you can split it open and lay the wires into it. This stuff's not. Yeah, you gotta inchworm this crap on here. And it's good stuff. I mean, it keeps the wires from getting braided, or braided, you know, keep from getting damaged or whatnot. Because rubbing it off it sucks. Oh gosh, this stuff's stupid. Let's cut some tape. Well, I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna tape this together right here. I can get the stupid 
tape. Cool. So, you know what? Oh, the little nipples got on this uh, injector. Well, these are just bull crap injectors that I'm going to run for startup. I'm going to be putting in some lot, lot larger ones. That way, uh, you know, I can tune in on them pretty good, I guess, because these ones only max out at like 300 or something. Man, how do we want to do this? So, you know, we could, well, I'm going to hold off on bringing this in. I might just take the split loom and start the split now. Let's see where this would get us with the other, other chunk from the other side right here. I think, uh, well, do I want to keep it going? I guess I could start the split, split loom on this chunk, roll in and then start adding them in. That way, you know, if I want to, yeah, plus up towards the front of the motor, I still have the cam sensor, or not the cam, but the crank sensor. Yeah, I'm going to go get the split loom. All right, for any of you that don't know what split loom is, uh, this stuff's braided, uh, but you can get it in like a plastic where it's just like a, looks like a pipe or something, but it's got a split along it. Well, this stuff's pretty cool because it rolls up on itself. Uh, you could, like this this size, you can throw a pretty good size bundle of wires in here and have it protected. The other cool thing is you can really bunch it down to where it's like, maybe double double protected on like a really high wear area. Um, and the other cool thing is, is you can always add stuff later by going, hey, look at me, I'm open again. So kind of what I'm thinking is, is I might start over on the first section that we started messing around with. You just kind of start stuffing this crap in here. Excuse me. And then for this side, I, I think I'm going to stop like somewhere in here. Hey, I thought I lost you for a second. If you like this video, subscribe and like it and subscribe.